welcome back to Putting the Bee in BPD, and it's me, Bee. Today's amazing look is done by one of my very good friends, Nika. She has her own company called Dewy Beauty. I'm gonna link about it down below if you like makeup. I think I look really cute. <laughs> so go and check her out, maybe give her a like. Let's jump right into it. Today's episode is lack of identity, but I'm going to combine today's video with another trait, chronic feelings of emptiness. Ooh. So of course, all of my experiences, everything I talk about is my own experiences. I can't talk for anyone else, but this is a general feel of what goes on with a person who has been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. So with myself, this is a very big one, the lack of identity. Over the years, I have done so many different things. Oh my God. So there has been me wanting to be a professional golf player where I would practice four to five hours a day. Got really, really good. That went on for about three or four months. And then I didn't want to do that anymore. So then there was a period of time where I wanted to be a pro skater. Our skate group was called More Zombies. And that was really cool for a few months. And then I wanted to become a professional bartender. I've been working on hospitality for like 10 years now. My whole entire life, I wanted to be an actress. And out of all of my phases has been the one that stuck the longest so I started acting when I was like born studied acting moved countries so that I could become an actress act is eigentlich von Südafrika af and I brought eigentlich flot Afrikaans um, so she is from Südafrika af is drink like moved to Australia wanted to be an actress I went to LA for a bit did some acting there didn't obviously quite make it, which is why you'll find a Facebook group made by my friends called Facebook group dedicated to a failed South African actress living in Australia. Don't look that up. With borderline personality disorder, we do constantly feel the need to fit in. It comes with chronic boredom, chronic feeling of emptiness, and a constant feeling of not fitting in. I make this seem very blase and really fun in these videos, but it is a really serious topic. These are our lives. A lot of people don't understand how difficult it is for people with borderline personality disorder, but let me tell you it is. An easier way to digest, because like I said, I'm not gonna use psychobabble much in these videos, but I will link some studies down below if you are interested in that kind of thing and you do like reading up on studies I'll put some links below but I like to describe it as borderline personality disorder usually comes from trauma in childhood so if that happens there's a large part of your formative years that you spend dealing with trauma instead of building a concrete base on which you can build your identity so in the, the formative years where other people are not dealing with intense trauma, they have these building blocks for which they can then have a springboard into creating themselves, into finding where they fit in. And I'm not saying that if you, if you feel like you don't fit in, you definitely have borderline. I'm saying with BPD, it is a very, very intense feeling. It's your whole life that you, you constantly feel like you don't fit in or that you need to do something different. The lack of identity comes with the chronic feeling of emptiness. And obviously a lot of these traits combined, chronic feelings of emptiness goes with suicidality and self-harm and unstable relationship. It all goes together, but with the lack of an identity, a story to explain chronic feelings of emptiness. So we all have a cup called our purpose cup. It's our feeling of having a purpose. So everyone has that cup and you fill it with, with stuff, with 
relationship, with family, with your job, your career, your values, your goals. And at some point, if you don't have big ditty, your cup will either be full or be filled up to whatever point you feel it needs to be. And you'll feel a sense of success or a sense of wholeness or a sense of completeness. When you have BPD, your cup, same size, has a incredibly massive hole in the middle. So it doesn't matter how much stuff you're throwing in there, how much stuff you try and fill it with, you can grab at relationships, you can grab at career, you can grab at, you know, arts and hobbies, you can grab at sex and drugs, but it will never fill. Your purpose cup will forever empty. That's why people with borderline seem to change so often because we don't want our cup to be empty, but it will slowly but surely just keep emptying. And there's that chronic feeling of emptiness. And it's so hard to explain to someone who doesn't have it because we're constantly told, you know, why don't you just try a new hobby? Why don't you just feel better? Why don't you try exercise? Why don't you just eat better? And guess what? We do. And it helps for a little bit. And then the cup empties again and we need something else to fill it with. And that's, that's kind of how I try and explain that to my friends and my family who don't understand all the time why I constantly need to change myself or change my career or change my hobbies or just want to experience everything. In doing these kinds of things, it makes holding down a job quite difficult for people with BPD, which in a lot of countries is why if you do have BPD, you can actually apply for disability. For people with a, a severe case of these two traits, it's impossible to work because your intense boredom or need to change will interfere with your job. That's nothing to be ashamed of. That's nothing to feel bad about. It's simply a condition, it's your disorder. There's ways to manage it and there's ways to treat it. Untreated possibly could be very detrimental to your career and progress. But this is not bashing on BPD. A good thing about changing your identity and wanting to do all these different things. Oh my God, people with BPD are anything but boring. The amount of stories that I can tell you about my life yeah, I haven't gotten married, yeah, I don't have kids, but I have lived a very, very full life. That includes traveling, that includes living in different countries, trying different foods, meeting different people. I am so good at adapting to my situation, to my surroundings, talking to people of all different cultures, all different backgrounds. I am so good at just being different. I can be put in a situation and exactly know what to do, how to change myself to fit into that situation. People with BPD because of this are very charismatic. This doesn't mean that people with BPD are necessarily extroverted. A lot of people with BPD, myself included, are actually introverts. I recharge my battery by being alone. People with extroversion recharge their batteries in social situations and with other people so yeah there is there is something good about having the ability to constantly change and constantly meet new people constantly experience different things so it's never good to look at these traits of BPD and see it as such a negative the chronic feelings of emptiness and wanting to change your identity also stems from the feeling of worthlessness and hopelessness and just seeing yourself as a bad person. Most people with BPD have this chronic feeling of being a bad person and not deserving of love or anything and we'll go more into that when we, when we talk about unstable relationships. But it is important to note that because of the stigma around BPD, because of a lot of bad things in the media out there, is a lot of negativity. If you do have BPD yourself, it is very important to 
be kind to yourself and you do need to find the positive out of it. Remind yourself that you are worthy of love, of success, of happiness and it is out there, it is manageable and you just need to keep fighting. Feel free to message me if you have any of your own stories you want to tell me about your feelings of chron chronic emptiness or feelings of your lack of identity pop them down in the comments below i will read all comments i'll try and respond to you as many as i can if you're new here please press subscribe if you like this video please press like and i will hopefully see you all next week